Welcome to Circuit Analysis, I'm Jesse, and today we're gonna use the sensitivity script we made in a previous video and build on it to make it a function that we can call from another file, and then we'll write another file. We'll call a test file, and then we can lay out different um, tests that we can run for sensitivities on multiple parameters. So to start, we have the sensitivity script here from last time. And the way that the scripting language in Symmetric Simplest works is you kind of have one file. You can make a function, sort of, but you make a function of the whole file. And to do that, you write at the top the keyword arguments. And then you write the parameters. So if you're going to return a value, you would put the first parameter you put at, and then the return parameter name, but we're just gonna pass in for uh, parameters. So we'll call them param node name. And then you just uh, put spaces between them. param formula tall file name out file name. And that's it. So then we just have to go down here and replace some stuff with these parameters. So the first one, this out file name is the easiest. We just have to get rid of this line here where we're defining it. So we're passing it in. Uh, this tall file name here. And we can just replace this right here with that. And then this param node name, this is going to be to make the plots. So we're just going to put the node that we're using, which uh, was the v out. And then for the param formula, we're going to put this whole thing right here. So the easiest way to do that is if you copy it with control C and then you can do uh, control F and this is the find and replace. So we can find and replace this with param formula, but we want to evaluate the formula. Uh, so we're going to put these brackets uh, around it and put uh, param. Ram formula in brackets like that. And then we can do replace all. And now we have the param formula in all of these places here instead of that, that formula that we had fixed in there. So the next thing we can do is all of these V outs here we can replace with param node name so control F again oops control F put like V out and param node name and we're gonna have the brackets around that too let's replace all and now hopefully that should be it for this file we'll save this file and now we can go new script and we can save this file. We'll just call this test. This will be our test script. And the first thing we do is register the sensitivity function in here. So we do that with register user function and then we give it the function name, the script name, and the min and the max number of arguments. And you can find all that in the help uh, PDF manuals, script reference manual. So for this one, we're gonna call it, we'll just call it sense for both, because that's the script name, it's the file name. And then it has four arguments, we'll just say that four it has four and all four are required to run the function now that it's registered we type execute and then the name of the function and then we just pass in its parameters so we'll just do the same run that we were doing before so this is going to be v out and then um, well what we can do is go back here 
we can copy and paste this as a comment here to remind us what the parameters are. So then the formula is uh, x from y v out was from 5 to 1. So x from y v out 1. So that's the voltage rising from from 1 volt to 5 volts. And then we were doing talls.txt as our tolerance file. And our output file was just sense out, but uh, let's call this one rise time since we're going to have multiple uh, multiple files now. And then if we want to make this fancy, uh, we could record how long it takes. So we can say let start time equal epoch time. And then we can also get the end time. We can subtract those two to get how long the script took to run. So echo run time. It's just printing this out. And then we'll evaluate this. So we'll do format number. We'll do end time minus start time. And we'll let's divide that by 60 for this one. And then that'll be four decimal places. And we'll do no ENG. So that's no engineering notation. So it doesn't, doesn't do E to the negative whatever uh, format. And we'll say minutes. And save that. So this should be ready to run now. And it should be doing something similar to this. So let's close this. And we'll give it a try. Yep. And there it is. So it ran the same thing we had before. And if we bring up our directory here, we can look for the output. And it should be rise time. So here it is. We have the picture and the graph and this uh, sensitivity file here. So now what we can do is add another line to this file if we want to. So maybe what we want is uh, another test that instead of the rise time just gets the maximum. So we could say maximum of V out. And we'll just call this max. Now we can save that. If we come back here, we can delete these files. And we can close this. And see what happens now. So now we did two runs. We have this one and this one. They're pretty much the same. But now here in our directory, we have the max as well as the rise time. So we can see we have different uh, different values, and it looks like it worked. So that's it for this video. Uh, you can use that to add a whole bunch of tests to your circuit. And um, I think next video we'll probably talk about convergence, uh, how to some tricks to get the circuits to converge better. So see you next time. Thanks for watching.